The Platinum Pocket Pen is a very compact fountain pen that was made in the 1960s. It was offered in a few different colors. I have this one in black with gold trim hardware. The overall design is very compact and it's mostly dominated by a cap. The bottom finial has a squared off shape and it features ribs in a concentric circle. The top finial has a rounded squared shape and it features that gold trim hardware and it is tapered towards the clip. The clip starts in the top middle of the finial and it wraps around the cap and it features a rib running down the length of it. It is a spring-loaded clip which is stiff but very functional. The cap is very slender and has a gradual taper down to a wave shaped cap band that has P for platinum and nothing on the back. It has a pull-off cap which reveals a gold nib. I have this one in a 14K, but it was offered with a few other gold contents. And then we have the P for platinum and a few Japanese characters. There's no marking for the nib size on this nib, but I believe it does write like a fine. And on the back, we have a plastic feed that has a little bit of translucency to it. The section has a gradual taper back and towards the back, we see Toyota printed on top of the pen. This was a marketing pen. And then there's a metal cap band followed by a step up to the barrel. And at the top of the barrel, we have the nib gold content. Again, it's 14K, a star, and platinum. The rest of the barrel is very short, and then it has that squared off end finial. In the hand, the pen is very lightweight, well-balanced, and extremely compact. It's suitable for short notes, but I wouldn't use this for long writing sessions. But luckily, the cap posts deeply and securely. It butts up to that metal band, and that turns this pen into a full-size fountain pen. The balance is still extremely good, and it's still a fairly lightweight pen in the hand. A very comfortable pen for long writing sessions. In terms of size comparisons, here's the Platinum Pocket Pen a typical Pilot G2 Rollerball pen, and your standard Sharpie. Before we get into the disassembly of the Platinum Pocket Pen, I want to take a moment here to compare it with two other pocket-sized fountain pens. Up top, we have the modern Pilot E95S, and down below, we have the original predecessor, the Pilot Elite. We can see all three pens are virtually identical in overall length, and the proportion between the cap and the barrel is nearly identical. All three pens feature gold trim hardware with bent metal clips. And let's take a look at these pens uncapped. All three pens have caps that pull off and all three pens feature 14 karat gold nibs, though the vintage models were offered with other gold contents. Both the Elite and the Platinum feature semi-hooded nibs, whereas the modern E95S has an inlaid nib. And it is important to note the Elite was also offered with an inlaid nib. All three pens then have sections that taper back to a gold band that has a step up to the barrel. The Pilots both have rounded end finials, whereas the Platinum features a squared off end finial. Let's take a look at these pens with their caps posted. All three caps post deeply and securely, and all three butt up to this middle band. We can see when the pens are posted, they're all virtually identical in length. To disassemble the Platinum Pocket Pen, cap pulls right off. And if we take a look inside, we can see towards the top of the cap, there is a cap liner. However, it's captured by leaf springs that are towards the bottom. So unfortunately, there isn't an easy way to disassemble this. What I would do for cleaning is run this under warm water or maybe soak it with a little bit of mild detergent. The barrel unscrews from the back of the pen. And then we can see there's a silver connector piece and a gold ring, and those can both be unscrewed from the section. And then those just come right apart. For the section, if we take a look inside, we can see towards the bottom there is a flat with two slots. So if you had a special tool, you could likely disassemble this further 
Unfortunately, I don't. So for cleaning this pen out, what I do is I use a bulb syringe to force water through it, or I soak it with a little bit of mild detergent. And at this point, the pen is fully disassembled. To reassemble, we'll start with the connector and the ring. Place the ring so that the flat side is facing the section, and then screw the section on. Followed by the barrel. And lastly, our cap. And now we're ready to ink up. Inking up the Platinum Pocket Pen, unfortunately it doesn't fit any modern converters, so I am resorting to using their cartridges. Cap pulls off, and the barrel can be unscrewed from the back. Grab the cartridge and place it deeply into the back of the section. Reattach the barrel. and the cap. We'll let it sit for a few moments and then we'll be ready to write. Okay, writing with the platinum pocket pen. Cap pulls off and I am gonna post it. And our nib, as I mentioned, it's not noted, but I believe it is a fine. And it's 14 karat gold. And it's a beautifully tuned nib. It's smooth with a little bit of feedback. It lays down a very thin line, but also a wet line, which is a unique combination that you don't see very often. Our ink is platinum carbon black and I actually really like this black it's very well saturated and a well-performing ink I haven't had any hard starts with this pen and ink combination so definitely a keeper for flex I'll turn the page If you're being careful, you can push out a little bit of line variation with this nib. I would say it goes from a fine to maybe a fine medium, not quite a medium in width. And for reverse writing. Very scratchy. But it is a little bit thinner. And the feet actually kept up quite well. So I would say in a pinch, you could reverse write with this pen, although you are kind of sacrificing your writing experience to some extent. So what do I think of the Platinum Pocket Pen? I really like this pen. I like the design aesthetics. I think that it is very similar to the Vintage Pilot Elite, but it has some cool features like this clip with the ridge that comes out of the top finial. That's a very unique feature and design aspect that I really like. I also like the squared off end finials. They're nice to kind of run, rub your fingers over. I love the overall form factor of pocket pens. This one especially because you can do quick notes without posting. So it becomes a very practical pen. But then for long writing sessions, you can post and get a full size fountain pen experience. In terms of areas to improve with this pen, I don't have too many. I think that the springs that were used both on the clip as well as the leaf springs in the cap are a little bit stiff. I wish that they would have spent a little bit more time fine tuning those. Um, so it doesn't quite require as much force to cap and uncap this pen. Um, but they do function very well at holding things in place. I also wish that Platinum would have made it easier to disassemble the nib and feed for regular maintenance. Uh, needing that special tool, which unfortunately I don't have, is kind of a handicap for this pen. And then lastly would be the filling system. I wish that Platinum would offer a converter that still fit this pen. Um, I don't know if they did in the past, but 
at the time of recording this, cartridges are your only option. All of the converters that Platinum makes are a bit too long to be able to fully reassemble this pen. So with all that being said, I am a big fan of this pen. Outside of reviewing fountain pens, I work in the automotive field, so I really like the fact that it's branded Toyota. I think that that's a cool feature of this one. And as I mentioned, I like the overall form factor. It's practical for quick notes, long writing sessions, and the nib is beautifully tuned, a wet writer, but also a fine line, which is a very unique combination to see, one that's not offered very often in fountain pens. And that just leaves me to say, Thank you for watching.